Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. Today we will be discussing about current affairs through MCQs and the topic of discussion is environment and ecology. But basically the questions are from disaster management, right? So few questions are there from disaster management. Let us start with the questions. So before we start, you can check out the mock test uh, that is to be held tomorrow on 30th of April and also uh, third mock test is on 10th of May. First question, which of the following statements is incorrect regarding the National Disaster Management Authority? Right, so statements which are incorrect about NDMA. First, it is mandated to lay down the policies, plans and guidelines for disaster management. Right, so that is the work or that is the mandate of NDMA. Second, NDMA is headed by the Prime Minister as the ex officio chairperson. Right, so that statement is also a correct statement. Uh, the Prime Minister is, is ex officio chairperson of NDMA. Third statement. The vice chairperson of NDMA enjoys the status of minister of state. Now, this statement is an incorrect statement, right? Why this is incorrect? Because the vice chairperson of NDMA enjoys the status of cabinet minister. Cabinet minister and not minister of state. Third is incorrect. Fourth, the 10th five year plan document for the first time provided a detailed chapter on disaster management right so this statement is also a correct statement for the first time uh, in 10th five year plan we had a detailed chapter on disaster management right so first second fourth statements are correct but we are supposed to find out incorrect statements only third is incorrect and that's why answer is c three only right so answer of this question is c next question Consider the following statements regarding the National Disaster Response Force, NDRF. First statement, it is a dedicated force under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change for specialized response to both natural and man-made disasters. Right, so this statement is an incorrect statement. This is incorrect because NDRF is uh, is a dedicated force under Ministry of Home Affairs. It is under MHA, Ministry of Home Affairs. Fine. And at present under NDRF, at present under National Disaster Response Phone Force, we have 15 batta battalions. 15 battalions are there. And these 15 battalions come from, come from BSF, then CISF, CRPF, then ITBP, IDB, ITBP, then uh, Shasastra Seema Bal, and also, also Assam Rifles. Right, so these, these are the forces that contribute to 15 battalions of NDRF. Right, and each battalion consists of 18, uh, 18 self-contained, 18 self-contained specialized research and rescue teams of 45 personnel each. Right, 18 teams are there under each battalion, and uh, under each each team there are there are 45 personnel. Right, so that is about NDRF. First statement is incorrect statement. Second statement, NDRF battalions can be deployed during chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear emergencies. Right. So, this statement is a correct statement regarding NDRF, National Disaster Response Force, because these response force can be deployed even in, in case of man-made disaster. So, second statement is correct. We are supposed to find out correct statements. Answer is B, 2 only. Question number 2, answer is B. Next now, consider the following statements. So, the question is regarding forest fires. First, as per Forest Survey of India, nearly 36% of India's forests are prone to frequent fires. Fine. So, this statement is a correct statement regarding uh, the frequency of 
uh, or the land vulnerable to uh, forest fires in India. First statement is correct. Second, changes in agriculture and unchecked land use patterns can cause forest fires. Right? So, this statement is also a correct statement. Changes in agricultural uh, pattern and unchecked land use uh, is one of the reasons uh, for forest fires. Second is correct. Third, fires that burn organic matter in the soil are called surface fires. So, this statement is an incorrect statement. So, fires that burn organic matter in the, uh, in the soil are called ground fires. They are ground fires. Fine. So, third statement is incorrect. First two are correct. Answer is A, 1 and 2 only. Fine. So, uh, in India, forest fires, in India, forest fires are seen from seen from November to June in this particular time period as there is lack of monsoonal rainfall. So, from November to June, we have uh, the season of forest fires and many factors are responsible like temperature, uh, precipitation, uh, type of vegetation, moisture contrib uh, contributed to, uh, to uh, the air or moisture present in the air. Right. So, all these factors are responsible for forest fires. Fine. So, answer of this question is A, 1 and 2 only. Next question now. Which of the following statements regarding Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, CDRI, are correct? Right. So, uh, statements regarding CDRI. First statement. It is a voluntary international grouping that aims to promote resilience of new and existing infrastructure systems to climate and disaster risk. Fine. So, this is a correct statement regarding CDRI. It is a voluntary uh, international grouping that promotes resilience of new as well as existing infrastructure. First is correct. Second, it is the first major coalition launched by India outside the United Nations. Now, this statement is an incorrect statement because CDRI is the second one. First one is, first one is International Solar Alliance. International Solar Alliance. CDRI is the second one and that is why second statement is incorrect statement. Third statement, the International Conference on Disaster resilient infrastructure is organized annually by CDRI, right. So, this is a correct statement regarding CDRI or uh, the International Conference on Disaster Resilient Infrastructure organized by CDRI, fine. So, uh, the CDRI, it makes sure that uh, member countries uh, and various organizations are brought together so that there is proper, uh, proper discourse on disaster and climate resilient infrastructure. Fine. So, that is what is done by this conference under CDR. So, answer of this question is C, 1 and 3 only. We are supposed to find out correct statements. So, question number 4, answer is C. Next now, fifth question. The recently released Climate Hazards and Vulnerability Atlas of India was developed by which of the following organization, right? So, this atlas is developed by, by uh, Climate Research and Services, right? So, scientists working at Climate Research and Services, which is one of the office of Indian Meteorological Organization, Indian Meteorological Department. So, it should be department, not organization, department, right? So, answer of this question is A. It is developed by the scientists at Climate Research and Services working under uh, working under uh, Indian Meteorological Department IMD. Answer of this question is A. Next now, question number 6. With reference to zombie fires, consider the following statements. First, it is a fire from a previous growing season that can smolder under the, under the ground throughout winter before bursting into flames anew, right? So, this statement is a correct statement regarding zombie fires, 
right so what are zombie fires zombie fires uh, are the fires uh, that are that are seen that come to the surface afresh after the winter season and generally it is found in countries like canada russia and even usa right alaska region of usa right so what happens in zombie fire after a wildfire uh, that has been extinguished on the surface some of the wildfire uh, some of the wildfire uh, goes under the surface right some of the wildfire was uh, will be seen even under the surface and this under the surface wildfire uh, is fueled by methane and peat right methane and peat fuels this particular wildfire now this under the surface wildfire continues to burn throughout the winter season and this is hidden under the layer of snow right and during spring season what happens as the temperature rises ice melts and the soil dries out and as a result of that uh, the wildfire will be seen again right so zombie fires they are also called as hidden fires so first statement regarding zombie fires is correct statement second they mostly uh, they mostly occur in they mostly occur in zombie fires mostly occur in tropical and temperate grasslands now this statement is incorrect statement it is there in the region of canada russia and alaska right so this is the region where we have presence of uh, zombie fires right so it is temperate grasslands not the tropical one tropical ones do not have these these zombie fires answer of this question is a one only fine next now next question is next question is consider the following statements regarding the world congress on disaster management first statement it is a global conference that provides a common platform to discuss the challenges and risks of various disasters right so this statement is a correct statement regarding world congress on disaster management second statement it is organized by the united nations office for disaster risk reduction now this statement is an incorrect statement because world congress on disaster management is organized by uh, it is an initiative of disaster disaster management initiatives disaster management initiatives and and convergence society right it is an initiative of dmics which is based at hyderabad which is based at hyderabad and it is not an initiative of uh, un office for drr disaster risk reduction and that's why second statement is incorrect third statement the uh, first world congress on disaster management was organized in year 2008 in hyderabad right so this statement is a correct statement first world congress on disaster management was organized in 2008 in hyderabad and it was inaugurated by by dr apj abdul kalam right it was inaugurated by dr apj abdul kalam right so answer of this question is one and three mentioned in option b answer of this question is b fine now next question with reference to uh, glacial lake outburst floods glofs consider the following statements first statement the triggering mechanism of glof events depend on the nature of damming material around the glacial lakes right so this is one of the important reasons for Uh, for the triggering of glof the damming materials which is uh, mostly in the form of moraines is responsible the uh, nature of moraines uh, makes glof uh, uh, occur right the nature of moraines that is present in that particular area makes glof occur first statement is correct second it has been recommended that reducing the volume of water with methods such as controlled breaching pumping and siphoning out water etc can reduce the impact of this hazard 
right? So this statement is a correct statement. In order to reduce the vulnerability or in order to reduce the, the risk of GLOF, what we can do, we can reduce the volume through controlled breaching of, G, uh, of the moraines, uh, pumping out water, siphoning out water, right? So both these statements are correct statements regarding GLOF. And that's why answer of this question is both one and two, right? Answer of this question is both one and two. Next question now. Which of the following statements regarding National Disaster Response Fund is our correct? First, the amount from this fund can be spent only towards meet, uh, meeting the expenses for emergency, but not for the mitigation. Right. So this is one of the important statements for National Disaster Response Fund because the uh, the fund from this particular uh, the amount from this particular fund can be used for for handling or meeting the expenses related to emergency, but not for mitigation. This statement is a correct statement. Second, the requirement for the funds for this must be approved by Parliament. Right. So this statement is. Uh, is incorrect statement. This is not a correct statement because the expenditure from uh, from this are not to be approved by the parliament, right? The expenditure from National Disaster Response Fund are not to be approved by parliament and that's why second statement is, is incorrect. Third, it is audited by Comptroller and Auditor General of India, right? So CAG, yes, CAG does audit uh, National Disaster Response Fund. Fine. So, uh, Answer of this question is B1 and 3 only. So this fund is established under Disaster Management Act 2005. It is established under Disaster Management Act 2005. And this fund is managed by uh, the central government for, uh, for meeting the expenses related to emergency response in case of disasters. Fine. And uh, fund can only be uh, used to spend expenses related to emergency relief and rehabilitation not for mitigation purposes right so answer of this question is b1 and 3 only next now last question consider the following statements regarding the national institute of disaster management nidm first union home minister is the president of the institute first statement is a correct statement nidm uh, which is established, uh, which is which is there in uh, in Delhi. Uh, its president is Union Home Minister. First statement is a correct statement. Second, it was established in the backdrop of Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. Right. So this statement is an incorrect statement because uh, it was established. It was established in the backdrop of International Decade for International decade for for natural for natural disaster reduction right and it was established in 1995 1995 and later on it was uh, upgraded as nidm in 2003 right as NIDM, it was upgraded in 2003. Fine. So only first statement is correct. And that's why answer is A1 only. Right. So answer of this question is A. So uh, that is about this particular test. Thank you.